Hello there, this is Space Nerd 5. Welcome to a new Let's Play series where we'll be attempting to get two achievements. That is the Anglophile and the Chop Chop achievement. The Anglophile achievement is where you go ahead and complete all the English and the first missions, which means we're basically going to be going all over the world and conquering land, colonizing, and doing all, like, you know, everything that England did historically. Which, you know, is kind of what the missions are about. And then we also have the Chop Chop mission, uh, or achievement, which is... At, with only one monarch, have six different consorts. Today is a rough day for reading, apparently. Um, and this is based off King Henry VIII of England, um, where he just couldn't get a male heir, so he either divorced, killed, or sent his wife into hiding, or had an annulment, basically. Um, he actually had two male heirs, but they both died and they were uh, when they were very young, so they never actually were able to take the throne. And his heir was ended up being Queen Elizabeth. Let's go ahead and go for a nice theologian. He actually looks like he's half priced starting, so that's pretty nice. And of the test play starts, he looks like he's always there, which is nice. We also want a Diplo Rep guy. He is half priced as well. It's very nice. Diplo Rep is good because it helps call people into defensive wars and to join you. And then we'll also go for a Mile of Armies, just because that's good overall in the beginning of the game, by far. It's better than discipline right now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to focus military points because we are going to have to go and fight France and the extra military points are just going to be nice. It'll help us field a bit of a better army. We're going to rival France, Scotland, and the other one doesn't really matter so we'll go ahead and go with Denmark. And the other important thing is always get a save where you can ally Burgundy right off the bat. A lot of the times I rival you but you can call in both Burgundy and Aragon into this war so we'll actually go ahead and ally Aragon. They are enemies or rivals to one another, but that's okay. We want both of these um, because Burgundy and Aragon, you can call them in against your defense or your aggressive war for the defender of, or for Maine's um, event against France um, with the promise of land. You don't have to give them land. Um, it'll piss off Burgundy. They'll actually lose trust. So you just go ahead and influence them and it'll be fine because you're England and you're going to have plenty of money at some point. Aragon will also do the same thing. Um, they won't be upset though that they didn't get land. And then the, our fourth ally is going to be Austria, since we go ahead and start off with an alliance here with, with Portugal, which we don't particularly care about. And then we're also going to go ahead and start spying on France, just so we get extra siege ability against them, since we are going to have to probably siege down a pretty big portion of their country. And we'll keep uh, Portugal around up until we go ahead and vassalize Scotland. Um, once we vassalize Scotland, we're just going to be dropping them like Todd. Let's go and start a debate. We apparently must wait till the end of the month, or a monthly tick, just so we can go ahead and get those. Um, let's see, these are our ideas, or basically our state edicts. Private trade fleet, free enterprise, and oversight of the clergy. Didn't go ahead and pick up the ones for the advisory boards for the half price or the quarter, quarter price advisors, just because, you know, we're England, we're going to have to wear the roses, we're going to have to bump up stab. Quite a few times, and might as well save a couple admin points while we're there. This army go over here. Let's go ahead and make the king a general. He's actually okay as a general. That is our monthly tick. Let's go and start a debate. What do we got? Sailors. Nope. Clergy. Don't care. Don't care there. Um, sure. And I guess we'll throw the admin points away. There we go. Easy debate. And then we need to go ahead and actually put a couple more. Um, seats in Parliament. We're going to obviously go for high development provinces. Um, I already know where a couple of them are, like Maine's. Um, and then after that, it doesn't particularly matter. There's 13 there. Oh, we don't need any more seats. Good. Essex actually would have been a better spot than Calais, just because it has one extra development. Since going ahead and adding a seat does go ahead and gives it extra local taxes, production, manpower, and sailors. So, all good stuff. Let's see. France is going to go ahead and declare on us. They're pretty much always, well, they are allied to Provence. And then we'll go ahead and just stack white Provence's army right away. And then this is their capital, so they already get a like a negative 25 penalty for not having an army. And then we're also sieging their capital. So that's why we're just moving the army here to go ahead and immediately walk into Provence after France declares on us. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to send royal marriages, because apparently we haven't done that yet. At least I forgot. To Aragon, Burgundy... And to, to Austria. We'll keep these three around for a little bit. And then this is going to seem a little strange, but we're actually going to start improving relations with France. Um, since they do have a lot of negative penalties, 
And if we can get that as high... Oh, no, Portugal can go away. If we can end the war quickly, we can go ahead and have the improved relations from beforehand. So it's kind of just like a uh, slight little, like, I don't know, efficiency for that matter. I don't know if that's necessarily the right word, but they, uh, they go hand in hand. Let's see, France, Scotland, and Provence, which means Scotland probably end up going to war with them, um, which isn't the biggest deal. We'll deal with Scotland. We'll probably just raise a Merc stack, stack wipe them, and then go from there. Let's see. Wow. France has been excommunicated. We did lose our Diplo rep guy, but of course we can go ahead and pick up another one. And we pretty much just wait till uh, the the, uh, the mains event goes, goes ahead and fires. Um, the surrender of mains event. We'll just wait. Stack wipe. Provence. Walk on their capital. And then just go and siege probably this fort. Probably not with this guy. Or actually, neither one of them is not great, very good at sieging. And then for... The War of the Roses, which can fire pretty quickly, um, since we're England, we're going to go ahead and just click the button and go ahead and get an air, if it's uh, too big of an issue. Scotland will definitely join against us. So, we're just chilling. France is obviously not very happy, but, you know, we've already improved it by 10. And I don't know what the decay rate is going to be afterwards. kind of depends. do want our provinces just courtesy of the fact that they have cores, which, you know, is what it is. We'll say now. Let's go ahead and bump up the speed. Since it is going to, the event's going to be here. We'll just pause right away once we see it. France is influencing their vassals. That's totally fine. Not a big deal. The other thing that we probably need to do is start, oh, there it is. Right there. Nope. We are not giving it to you. It's ours. I'm going to walk over there. Let's go and see. Burgundy, we will go ahead and call you in. Promise of land. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And same thing with you, Aragon. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, come on in. And, uh, Scotland did join. Okay, Scotland, go ahead and sit on that fort. I don't care. Uh, Nevers, your army just got stack wiped courtesy of France. <laughs> I'm not going to say that was a genius move, but it wasn't wasn't exactly the best or, or the smartest thing in the world. We can actually maybe just send this 13k stack back over. We're going to go ahead and occupy that. This is the, yep, go ahead and complete that but that mission gives us permanent claims on this france region we're not going to take it france can keep it up until we go ahead and basically put them under a pu uh naples is free but they are still in the war with us very nice aragon you're sieging there we're going to get sieged down very quickly in the beginning of this game um provence you want ouch not particularly because did we not get a stack wipe your name your army or was i a little slow May have been slow. Heavy and light ship cost reduction, it's fine. Not really the biggest of deals, 49% there still. If we have to, we'll hire mercs, not a big deal. Let's see. All of these sieges are going pretty quickly. The wall's being breached there, kind of sucks for Burgundy. Sometimes they get what they white piece, sometimes they don't, kind of just hit or miss. France is getting hit there from the uh, Burgundian vassals. Okay, that's fine. You guys got it, I actually managed to get away. 0% there, that siege kind of sucks. It's no longer a seat of a cardinal, okay. Who's over here? Provence is there with their 5 k and 363 air. I will take that any day of the week. Um, you guys have a wall breach. Not very nice to me, for me. Let's go ahead and take a loan so we can just hire mercs. Mercenaries, got a 16k stack, could be okay. I'd rather actually have a leader though. You got three siege, actually, we'll go ahead and this army can come over here, and we'll bring over the third, or this, this combat leader back over. You guys come back over there, and you guys go north to deal with Scotland. You guys go, you walk over there, and you go back to blockading. You go to Paris, and you just stand around and look nice. Northumbria was lost. Uh, not good. That's woods. Can we get there before the end of the month, though? Does not look like it. No. Be a little, a little bit slow. That's okay. We are getting blockades here, courtesy of the Dutch miners. Burgundy did lose their capital. Not the worst thing in the world, though. Go deal with the French army there, and Labard did not fall, or Labord did not fall, which is also very nice. Aragon, you're still penned in there. That's okay, though. Got a three siege leader working there. Scotland, you're going to get dealt with here in just a minute. I just basically want white peace with you, honestly. It's all I seek. 
Um, I do not like the fact that uh, there's such a large stack right there. Uh, we can also just peace out with uh, with Provence. You come on back. Give me war reps and oodles of money. All right, seven ducats will do. <laughs> Get out. All right, with Provence gone, it is swayed in our favor a bit more. We actually, it's a two to one advantage currently for us, even with uh, knowing that Scotland is here. Don't like that our land is just getting carpet siege right now by the islands, but it is what it is. We're still making money even though we hired Mercs, very nice. Siege of Paris is over. And we'll walk over the next one. Make sure you take this mission. It gives you the permanent claims on mission or on Britannia or Brittany. Um, and you need it in order to continue down the mission tree. And if you already have France underneath a PU, you don't be, you're not able to go ahead and click that mission. Because you never actually really occupy France back or France again. This is that seven percent. We're good there. Wish not all this land got occupied, but whatever. Lose the money, it's okay. If we have taken out a loan, not a big deal. We're England. We make money. We make it happen. Burgundy, you lost another two forts. And for France, I'm okay if they go ahead and take this land from Burgundy. Not a big deal with me. Uh, since, you know, France is going to be under PU, they can suffer the AE take the land. And not me. Stop the heretics. Now we can have the, the uh, reform desire. That's fine. Got that fort back. Good. So that means a lot of our land's going to start coming back, and we're going to go deal with, with Scotland's army. They are stuck behind here, hopefully, given the fact that there is zone of control. This is a loan that we have we have taken. But again, not really the biggest of deals. Combat here. It's a full stack wipe. Good. And we'll just come back. Can't actually make it to the capital, so just go over there and deal with it that way. Paris is getting pretty close to coming back online. Which is a little scary. Oh, Burgundy just went ahead and peaced out. They just took 60 ducats from France. That's fine. Here goes another. Oh, those were Scottish uh, mercs that just spawned. Go, that fort has fallen. Good. I could have sworn we had that fort. Apparently, the miners went ahead and took it. Paris is fallen. Oh, you guys have to walk all the way around? Let's not do that. I'm just gonna do something like that, see what happens. Did not get the garrison tick, so we'll get it back in two months. This, that is the ticking war goal, so. And Scotland, you have rebels. Uh, what do we want? Just white peace. White peace is fine. Go ahead and start working, get our own land back, and then we'll bring the 16k back on over. Go ahead and resiege all of our land back. Got okay, split. Split. Actually, you can just split again. That would be fine. Aragon, you have failed to even take one siege. Paris, you're going to go ahead and get annex or not taken. You'll get captured in the next siege tick. There go, Paris has fallen. You go over there, and we're just going to go ahead and collect the rest of our own territory. You guys, go over to Kent. You guys, also go to Kent. 2k can go over to Kent as well, and then we'll go ahead and move this army just over, just pretty quickly. We're not in a huge rush. Go there, and then we'll go ahead and land the rest of the army over here in Cox. And be fine, it's another 16k, and it's just going to come over here and sit. Armies are together. And you guys come on over here. Aragon, you still have yet to go ahead and take that siege. <laughs> You're taking your sweet time. Uh, Aragon, you lack an heir. What happens if you die? Uh, we actually succeed to your throne. Very good. That's what I like to see. Let's go over there. Nice little 4k stack. Not really that big of a deal. Going back from the Pope Man. You're going to go in on me there. I'll go ahead and reinforce some more. We're all going to reinforce. This is a bad, bad battle for us, apparently. Leaders actually look pretty even. Oh, we're actually going to win. Good. Good stuff. We did lose way more troops, but most of them were mercs, which is fine. You guys, go walk over there. Go and get your reinforcements, and the other army needs to stay there. This does hurt our manpower quite a bit, and I would prefer to have very high manpower. Right, you guys go there, and you guys... 
walk over there. We can do some more sieging. France, you're at 39%. And what do we need to go ahead and go ahead and make you a personal union? Negative 46 reasons, that's fine. Sussex is here. What do you produce? Grain? Best in a bigger army. That will be fine. That will do. Your navy is still just hemmed in there. We'll go ahead and take this fort, and then that should be it. Aragon, you've almost taken your first fort. Almost. Almost is the key 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 thing there. <laughs> Other than that, they have not taken a fort yet. Brance, you're gonna go try and get your capital back, I presume. Oh no, you're actually just sitting there. Scarily. There you go, that fort has fallen. Good stuff. That means Aragon is finally free to actually go ahead and try and help us. That's what Kin means. Extra, hey, an extra 10 Diplo points. I'll take it. I don't think France has, still has any of our improved relations. Oh, no, still 7. <laughs> Does not look like the efficiency is going to be all that high, to be honest. Go and occupy Barry. This will probably give us like an additional one war score. This fort will help as well. Oh, there we go. Let's go and see if we can scare them away. Portugal, not interested to be honest. Scotland lacks an air as well. So just Naples. We got lots of people that we could probably go ahead and get. And you guys are not scared of us whatsoever. Hmm. Let's go into oh, farmlands and also farmlands. Doesn't particularly matter. But you go ahead and uh, accept our vassalization. We're going to go ahead and take as much money from them as possible. They don't need it, they can go in debt. That's fine. 134 ducats, we'll take it. Yep. France, you are now a personal union. You, uh, We have a whole plus four improved relations from our synergy from earlier. Oof, yeah, that's so much. But we subjugated France, 25 prestige. We're going to hold off on that, actually. So for a little bit. Who are you friends with, Brittany? Castile and Galray? Steel will join. All right, we're not interested in that then. Alrighty, so we do need a new rival. Who do we want? Steel. I think Castile's a good choice. I'll go ahead and make Aragon a little bit happier. Still, Lancaster succeeds to the throne. We definitely want to go ahead and start improving relations with France. Scotland is no longer a valid rival for us either. There we go. Who else do we want to rival? I think uh, the Ottomans will do since they have us rivaled. And we will go ahead and dissolve our lands here with Portugal. No longer needed. Burgundy, uh, we definitely need to improve relations with you. Yeah, tolerating Lollards definitely hurt. No longer need to spy on France. They're happy enough. France is disloyal. More than 100%. What we will do is we can also go ahead and influence them. We've gotta wait just a little bit longer. Go ahead and influence you for 130 decades, which is pretty much exactly what we took from them. And that'll go ahead and get their trust up. These guys go away, so we're actually making a positive income. And actually, they're still over 100%. Opinion, Diplo Rep, Trust. So we did just go ahead and get five additional trust, but they're still very hostile to us. We were at war, and we forced a union, and declared war on them. <laughs> but there's a 11.3 swing per year. Um, same dynasty, same religion do help. I do have one of their cores, though. Oh well. You guys go ahead and just sit in London. And just be peaceful. Burgundy lacks an heir, so there is a chance we go ahead and get a personal union on them upon their death. We are to succeed to their throne. And national tax is actually going to be fairly okay. We're not making that much money, though, in all honesty. Let's go ahead and move the two armies back on over. And we can go ahead and just drill for a little bit. You guys go over there. We're going to have a little bit of time for peace. All right, we'll take the money. It means we can go ahead and get a new advisor. Extra taxes will do. Aragon lacks an air. Burgundy lacks an air. France is already underneath us, so... I mean, we're sitting pretty, pretty right now. Let's see, Parliament. We have port maintenance and port defensiveness, which honestly doesn't particularly matter. We have a truce with Scotland, which hopefully we can go ahead and get our manpower up before then. War exhaustion is hurting. Army Church is helping slightly. Um, could buy down war exhaustion, but honestly not that interested. 
Let's see, France, your liberty desire is pretty high, relative strength. Your opinion just actually got an uptick. Um, so we actually probably just lost some aggressive expansion as well. Do you have aggressive expansion? Oh yeah, you do. Lost 2.5 there though. Lose money gets... No thank you, I'd rather have the 10 prestige, honestly. Nables lacks an air as well, but we're probably not looking to get anything there. Oh, yeah, it's Aragon versus Castile, and Aragon would be the, uh, probably the original, uh, the, uh, the owner there. Burgundy, you're playing happy now, you're at 75 opinion, Aragon's not too bad. Scotland, what happened? Oh, you're being invaded by someone. That was a you die. Hmm, McCarthy, kind of wish it was like Macbeth or something. We'll go ahead and take the uh, professionalism, so we can actually burn that away if we need to. We're at 2.9%, nothing too significant. You not having France to protect you kind of hurts, though. But anything you lose, we'll go ahead and feed back from Norway or from Denmark. Just okay. Uh, the Pope man is the new Pope. Congratulations. Let's actually go ahead and invest some of our points, whatever we have in there, just so that way we have a small chance. Yeah, you know, I like being the Curie controller. It gives us a aggressive expansion tick decay or reduction, about ten percent, which helps. And you go ahead and excommunicate whoever you don't like, that the Pope also doesn't like. Very, very strong caveat there. And we're just chilling now. Austria is the new Holy Roman Empire, no real surprise there. Uh, still have a royal marriage, you guys got a hundred opinion. You have not rivaled Burgundy yet either, which is very nice. Charles, I hope Mary takes over for you so we can go ahead and get a personal union on you. Does just mean that we have a chance, it's not guaranteed. Manpower is recovering. We do have a loan, but again, only a ducat of interest right now. Apparently, one of the electors has already been eaten, eaten or engulfed, destroyed, decimated, you know, all those types of things. Could go ahead and demand land, but the burgers are a little upset. Going to take military tech four. We do have a 363 air, which I'm very excited about. Maritime expansion. Mead. More than 40 ports, not there yet. New Admiral, War of the Roses is not going to fire at the moment, given the fact that we have an heir. Subjugate France, already completed, just 25 prestige. Not re oh, the manpower recovery speed might actually be nice, the 20%. I think we'll actually use that later, though. Not blast channel. Yeah, we just got to go ahead and take those trade center, centers of trade there. Let's see, we are a little low on power projection. We'll go ahead and send it a scornful insult. Spain, go ahead and give us that power projection. So now we're above 58. So now we get an extra monarch point of each category. Coming back from Burgundy, we'll go ahead and improve relations with Aragon. Oh, uh, yeah. Piss off, Liege. It's our trade. Alright, let's go ahead and support Loyalist over here in France. So our 51%. Actually, they only have nine troops. What happened to you, France? I mean, I, I know I took all your money, but still. Let's see, Aragon. Man looks announced us as a rival. Yep, just a Lancaster. That's fine. I'm in no real rush if we get a free Aragon. Ah, uh, we've died and we've lost France. So France is free now. And that's gonna be a lot of aggressive expansion to go ahead and get that back. So I think I might actually go ahead and squirrel, um, where you go ahead and just um, break the game and see what happens, or if you just close the game without saving. Because it'll go back a month, and hopefully the backup will be uh, the month prior to this, since we just had a random chance of dying. Uh, which, you know, I would prefer not to have <laughs> France break off after we've worked so hard to take it. Um, so I will go ahead and see you guys see if we can go ahead and maybe get that a little bit better because dying is a little bit inconvenient here so i will see you guys in the next episode